right, next I'm going to install all my um, gears onto the ed end of my mower. Um, I like to do this all at once instead of uh, as you install the reel, install the uh, cutting sprocket. It, I find it easy just to do it all at once. So before I even in, install any of the uh, sprockets or gears, I'm going to glue my uh, drive cork onto its plate. Um, again, quite a simple task. Just need uh, some contact adhesive. So we've just got to wait for that glue to go tacky. Once it goes tacky, bond them together. Uh, I like to uh, put a bit of weight on there, so I'll, I'll mount this on top, and then I'll probably put a brick or something just to keep weight on it, and I'll leave that overnight. All right, that's starting to get tacky. This is the cork. Bond them together. Just like that. So I'll uh, put a weight on top of that. That'll help the, uh, the cork to stick. And I'll leave that overnight. So as you can see, I've stuck two bricks on top and that's sandwiching that cork nicely. Right, uh, so while that glue's drying, I'm going to install all the other sprockets. Um, this is how we do it.
can see I had a bit of problems with the uh, drum sprocket. Uh, it wouldn't slide on. Funny enough, that's the uh, only wood drift key that I did not replace. Um, really wish I had. However, I don't have any spares, uh, and I have to work with what I with what I had. Nonetheless, she's on there. All right, time to assemble our intermediate clutch sprocket. Uh, I assembled this first and then mounted up on the mower, find it easier. Um, I'll show you. Do note that there's a little pin inside here, and that pin actually has to line up with the key weight. If you don't do that, you break that off and you'll be, you'll be in all sorts of trouble. Um, anyway, basically this, your bearing goes in here. This mounts like this. So I uh, actually missed a part during that installation. Um, I forgot to mount the uh, drive clutch cable holder. Uh, yeah, that's because this is a 17 inch solid. That's a separate piece. If this was a twin rail, I'm pretty sure they're uh, welded to the rail. Uh, anyway, that's where that goes. Everything's still loose. All right, now we've got all the gears mounted. We're gonna install the chains. Uh, we're also gonna install the chain tensioner. Now this is what uh, used to come on the 17 solids. I have actually upgraded this, uh, opposed to using this, I'm gonna use um, an upgraded Isler. So you can buy these from George Bond Mods. Um, I think it's an excellent, Excellent idea. Uh, it definitely helps the chain run a lot smoother. First thing, just going to remove all my chain links. Right, now we've got all the chains on, we need to uh, tension them, so they're quite loose right now, uh, too loose to operate correctly, um, so there's a bit of a trick to it, it takes a little while, uh, this is how I do it, so for this chain and the one at the back here, can't really see it on camera, what I like to do is I, you, you sort of want to move this sprocket up and then towards the back of the mower, and that will tension all the chains at the same time. Uh, it is easy to tension this chain, but then leave this chain untensioned. So you have to make sure you have to get them both uh, tensioned at the same time. Uh, how I do it is I just grab the, the sprocket here, 
and I'll just push it up in this this direction and that generally uh, gets me in a pretty close position. That's about what they should look like. If you do it too tight, it, uh, it creates too much of a um, uh, restriction. What it actually does is actually start stretching the uh, chain. Uh, if you stretch your chain, your mower won't operate correctly. So the real chain, this is the one with the, uh, the old nylon uh, tensioner. So I've replaced that with a new one. So this one you've got to remember to put the uh, chain cover mounting uh, bracket on. Uh, that actually has a square cut out here which uh, lines up with this square hole here. So in lock so. Spring washer nut on the back. So, again, this chain, it just needs to be tight enough that it's not flopping around, hitting everything in there while it's spinning. There we have it, all the chains are mounted, it's almost ready to go.